What's up, everyone? Another way back with more Dyson Sphere program for you. Episode 82. I'm so glad to be recording this again. Uh, just really missed it. Really missed first playing the game and recording and getting to upload and stuff. Just really missed it over the last eight days that I was rebuilding my machine. So, standing here next to Deuteron Rods to make sure I replace my stash. So, let's do some of that and let's make sure... Mm, I think we're probably good. Yeah, that's probably fine. I want to make sure we do that before... Uh, I take off to do this next piece of the project here. Um, another thing we probably should do... Um, well, I want to go check that out first. Also, I kind of changed this game sound. I like the game sound to be a little bit higher. I'm thinking it might be too high now. I'm going to check that out. But I like to be able to hear what's going on in the game, not just... So, I'm just checking out this hydrogen. We're remote demanding it. I think that's going to be okay because... Because we, we really need a lot of hydrogen to do to do the uh, green science production. So I don't want to run out of that. So I was kind of making sure that we're good to go there. Um, we definitely are good to go there. Deutrium is doing awesome. Um, another thing I wanted to do is check on solar panels. Because today we're not going to be able to do green science work. We're really getting low on power. I, don't, I think we're going to start running out of power. Just the accumulator setup we've got here on uh, just can't keep up on Endor, so we're going to have to make something over there on Ethereal Phoenix. So we almost have a full stack here of these guys. We're going to wait just a second to go pick those up. We've got a bo almost two boxes we're going to be taking over to um, Ethereal Phoenix 1, I believe, is the planet. And we will be hooking up a system pretty much just like this one there. Um, the first thing I wanted to do here is set this to 5,000. We don't want to receive any more of these guys because I want to get the other 5,000 over to Ethereal Phoenix. So, um, they will be a little bit competing in some ways to get these uh, empty accumulators, but I think it's totally fine for now. Set that at 5,000, and then uh, that gives uh, some to Ethereal Phoenix, right? This thing won't be getting all of them anymore. It's going to use it up down to 5,000, and then it'll be fine. We should have a couple thousand in, in the this system that when we put that Interstellar up, it'll just pull right away. So, as you can see, we're really low on these guys. And another thing I'm really kind of worried about or concerned about is we're only doing 15 megawatts per. So we're at a third of our charging potential. And our sphere is used. I mean, our swarm. It's completely used up, which is, you know, our system is big. All right, that's what she said. So totally cool. Uh, just something I want to make sure that uh, we don't have an issue with. And I'm pretty sure that's the next issue we're going to have. So let's go look at warpers really fast. We've got some. I think we're getting a little low on personal warpers, so I'm going to grab some of those uh, before somebody else does. Let's grab another. Well, we're going to need more than 20 because the Ethereal Phoenix system is going to need a lot, right? I don't know how many they have. So let's just get a bunch. Let's fill up before we give these to somebody else. That will be good. We won't be able to make it home. Where did that go? Did it just go right into my inventory? Apparently it did. Okay, sweet. That is enough. What I'm going to end up doing, because we have to take two boxes of the solar panels over to Ethereal Phoenix, right? So what I'm going to do is drop some boxes and take only what I actually need over there. Probably don't need that many boxes, but that's fine because we're really going to pick a lot of this stuff up. But why don't we start by dropping stuff off and then we'll get all the uh, solar panels and then we won't have to care. So let's just get everything. There we go. A lot. That's perfect. That's going to be tons. And we're, we're going to sit there. I might do some of the building of, of, of these solar panels off camera because they're going to be really arduous and boring. Let's probably don't need foundation. We do need ships. We need these guys, possibly. We need warpers, do on rods. Don't need those. Well, I guess we can start from the top. We will probably need all our logistics. We need chargers. We don't need ray receivers yet. We might need some of this logistic stuff. We aren't building anything. We probably don't need power poles. We might need wind turbines. Let's take these types of power poles, I guess. We won't need any kind of mining equipment or anything. We might need logistics stuff. Well, not that much. Let's just get, I don't know, that many belts. We're going to need some insert or sorters. Not a lot. I'm just thinking we're going to need more stuff. I, I know we're going to get out there. Let me think. We're going to need chargers. Let's go get more of those. 
I can't remember what they're called, but um, we need them. We're going to need a lot because we need a whole ring like we're doing on Endor up here. So let's go see how many we need to get here. Let's get 10 more so that we have two stacks, basically, and it already filled it up. Sweet. We're also going to... I'm going to pick up some of these orbit, orbital collectors for... Um, for uh, the hydrogen that we're doing on Nether 3 because I think we're, we're just going to need more more uh, hydrogen. We're going to need tons of it, and we're not making enough. So let's look at... What, what are we doing here? Oh, uh, well, we just robbed that, so that's not good. Um, so that's okay, though. We have plenty of ships. I'm not super concerned. Not super concerned. In fact, I want to set up eight of these guys. They don't require any power, which is kind of neat. So let's get eight if we can. Okay, nine. I guess that'll work. And let's go set those up really quick. And then we're going to head out, head out to um, Ethereal Phoenix system. I think we have everything we need. If not, oh well, we're going to be screwed. <laughs> so there's another three. Let's go set these up. I don't... Well, we'll know when we get there where we set the other ones up because I'm just going to keep going in a row. I'll set up... I'm just going to set all of them up because I don't need orbital collectors except for this specific thing we're doing, right? So let me get that going. Oh, good. We stopped right there. Perfect. This, these collect pretty quickly, but not quickly enough that, you know, we can sit on... Oh, well, we're going to be eating up a lot of this stuff. And we already have these on us, so let's start Let's start pumping these in here. Let's get that. And the, the bots usually take a long time to build these because they have to fly up to the top of the, um, of the ghosted image there. You see them flying up to the top, so it takes a long time. So you just fly ahead if you keep placing these. Your bots will not be able to keep up. You'll run out of bots. As you can see, I haven't collected my other two bots yet, so i got to slow down a little bit. I wish the bots were a little bit... Well, I guess it makes sense that the upgrades make the bots faster, so... Can I say, have I still not picked up that first one? Nope. Okay. Let's get this going really quickly, and then we're going to go to FV, FO. That's what I've been calling it in my notes. Um, hold on a second. So how many we got left? Eight? Of, no way. There's no way we have eight of these left. Oh, I, I, we got four. Okay, that makes more sense. All right, so let's keep placing these. It does take a little while. I wish it was a little bit faster, but that's okay. Um, oh, am I going too far now? In between? Uh, let's look at map mode, because it's really hard to tell from... No, that's right. I was about to go too far, but I think we're good now. Um, it will be nice to find another hydrogen, or I mean gas planet, because I have not actually found another gas planet. So that's a little bit of a bummer because then we can't do as much collection like this. Um, also, I've just noticed that my machine does run a lot faster. Uh, that's really nice. I now actually have uh, a um, solid-state drive for my recording. Before, I had only solid-state drive for OS and programs. So now I have a solid-state drive for that. Because they solid-state drives used to be kind of expensive, and they've more recently become something that's pretty affordable, which is good. Um, now I bought a one terabyte one for pretty cheap. I don't remember how much I spent, but it wasn't very much. Um, so that was really cool. Now, I put the one gigabyte, or the one terabyte, I swapped that out with, for my OS, because I was really running out of space. I think my other one has 280 gigs, I want to say. That's not big enough for a C drive. With all your apps and OS and all that stuff, I was always running out of room. I always had to delete apps and stuff like that. Lack of item. Okay, we're, we're good. Now let's find FFO and get to move, get a move on here. Uh, I was thinking maybe we could just pick it out of the sky, but why don't we why don't we just do this? Let's go there and start making some nice power. All right, here we go. I think I need to move my or maybe make my uh, face cam a little smaller. It's a little hard to see the screen here. So that's good. That guy's all set up. There's nothing you really need to do with those. Place them and leave. There's no configuration at all to do. Um, I figured out why I can't warp sometimes. If the, if you see in the mini-map there, or I guess over here, you see the planet still, it means you're too close to the planet. You're in the gravitational um, gravitational field of the planet, I think is what it is. But it's just you're too close in the game in the game version or whatever. I have three littered items. I don't know how that keeps happening. Um, I'm just going to delete them, I guess. I wish, I wish it would say you can't pick that up. Instead, it's saying it's just throwing them on the ground. But I don't see them because the icons are really small and I don't notice them. So I'm going to have to... I wish it would pop up right in your face, maybe. Maybe that's what it should do. Ethereal Phoenix 1, we actually kind of want to go there. So let's do that. 
Again, only one planet in the system. Very, very strange, but it's okay. I mean, there's nothing we can do about it, but... If you notice... And um, we stopped a little early. If you notice... Um, oh, and we're almost out of energy because this is a big jump for us. Can't wait to get um, green the green science for a little larger battery and, and better charge rate and stuff. But if you notice, I think the, the planet for the system is a, actually a larger... Um, orbital radius and I think that's because the star first is huge this star would probably engulf earth easily um, and it would obliterate pretty much anything that's too close that's why they always I always see stuff where people are like oh there are planets you know revolving around a black hole I really doubt it because a supernova is such a large explosion it would probably tear apart any planets that it had started with the only other way it could be if it picked up planets was it picked them up gravitationally over time, which I guess you could pick up some rogue planets that way. Again, seems unlikely, especially at like the galactic pole or the galactic center, because you've got so much stuff merging with the supermassive black hole there. There's so much energy explosions going off all the time. It's it's a very dangerous space. I don't think planets, from what I understand about planets, my labor, I'm not a scientist, but... I have studied some astronomy. I have been had an interest for a long, long time. And from what I know about astronomy, planets are pretty fragile compared to some of the stuff that goes on in the universe. So, a planet around a black hole? Probably not. Probably not. But we'll see. We don't know a lot about extrasolar planets yet. So, extrastellar planets, right? We know they exist. We don't know a lot about them, though. Which is also kind of the interesting thing about them because they're, they're fascinating because we don't know a lot about them, right? So, I don't know, though. We'll see. Picking up my speed a little bit here, which is good because we don't really have time to just mess around. Really need to get this going. I also need to harvest um, sulfuric acid off Ethereal Phoenix 1 here. Uh, we need to start... At some point, I'll probably make our, our stuff more efficient by uh, mining up all the rare resources we've found so far. Uh, looks like it's over here, this direction. Um, because we need to start doing that. It's going to really help our system out. Um, less taxing on our system to ship stuff over like sulfuric acid we don't have to do anything it literally just shows up we don't have to do you know we don't have to craft it up then let's sit in a charging station for a second here then we'll get moving uh this place oh the, it's not this thing is even fully powered well when we, once we get the ring fully going it will be fine i don't know oh it can't even keep up powering me so let's let it do its thing seems like it's got plenty of stuff oh wow it's got a lot of uh warpers already it's got Oh, it's already trying to receive these guys. Remote supply. Local supply. Oh, this is remote demand. That's why we're not getting any of those. So there we go. That's going to go get some, but it's going to drain a lot of the power. Local supply, remote supply. We can keep that. Um, remote supply. That way they can pick stuff up from here, too. Min, min, well, full load on drones. Why don't we do... We'll do full load on, on the vessels, too, for now. I think that's appropriate, I would say, at this point. Well, maybe we can do half load. We probably should have changed it on our other station as well. Again, because we're still trying to import warpers, right? So, hmm, that's interesting. Okay, so this is fine. This is fine. Uh, looks like our power is starting to come online. I don't know if this is the actual... Um, oh, it looks like we did find the equator, so that's good. That's on the equator. Uh, so we can probably start setting up our charging station pretty much right here. We'll use this as the in in and out right here. Uh, and we'll put the ring pretty much just right here. Um, we'll start the ring over here. Right? And we'll have it go in that direction. So let's start setting that stuff up. Uh, okay. Where are they? I know we have chargers. Oh, it's probably transportation? Yep. So this will be charging, right? It's going to be something like this. We'll have it come in right here and return right here. Yeah. I don't remember how he did it previously. Uh, to be really honest, I don't remember. I think we split it in like this. And then drew it back out on the outside... Okay, I think I think I know what I'm doing here. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. So we're going to do something right here, I think. We're going to start there. We'll start 
We'll put one on the opposite side. And we'll just do this. We'll just get a couple of them going here. We're going to say, because I want to make sure these are all set up. These are going to charge. Right? We're doing charging. Oh, and it's connected. That's great. Um, we're going to also, let's say, uh, let's bring in some uncharged dudes. This is going to be a little bit backward from our previous setup, right? So this is going to be uncharged. They're going to come in the middle. Like that. Oop. Angle too wide. Okay, well, let's go to here. We'll just go up. To, um, okay. We wanted to do it here, and then we're going to run down this way. And then we're going to split off right there. And then return guys are going to be coming up basically right here. How are they going to do that? It's going to go over the top, but it's going to do a drop down. We probably should have had them come in on the top. This will be the top, actually. So we're going to do uh, empty accumulators. And then the full ones are going to come in right here. But we'll drop down uh, a splitter. So glad I grabbed all the splitters and stuff. Let's do the, in, uh, the outbound first on these guys. So the outbound will be like this. And then there's going to be a splitter, which I'm not sure will fit, actually. That's what she said. Splitter should be here, because it's going to go up over the top. So let's get that set up. It should be... No, it, it should be like this. Oops, I just need to turn it. All right, it's going to be like that. There's going to be another one on this side, but we're not going to worry about that just this second. So instead, I'm going to do one of these like that. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to split this like, is that correct? Is that the same? Again, I'm very kind of uh, stickler on the same. There we go. Now let's now we can get this belt in for return. Nope, that's incorrect. We gotta go up with this so it'll actually connect in the right way, the way we want it anyway. Now we can go down connect it in like that. These will be the full accumulators again. Let's hook up the rest of this, and then we can start piping that sucker in. And then I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start... Then we just have to put the, the solar panels in. That's literally it. So the last thing we need is one more splitter right here. This will just be regular type, right? Like we do with... Like we do for discharge, but this will be charging. That's the only difference. We're just going, we're taking these in a different direction, that's all. So now they're gonna start charging, probably at really low percentage. Wow, 45. Plenty of extra power right now. So why don't we set up a few more of these? Oh, we, let's set up the inbound first because, well, why not? We're already doing it, right? So let's get to here, up to here, and then in. There, now we have charged accumulators coming in. Ethereal Phoenix, you're actually finally doing your job, dude. Jeez! No. There we go. We're getting in more to charge with. We're doing 300 at a time. That's good. That means we might never get more warpers. I don't like that. Maybe we should cut this back to 30%, which I think is 200. Yeah, that should do it. That way we can get more warpers when we need them. All right, sweet. So we've got charging going on. That's good. Let's set up a, a few more of these guys. I don't know how many we're going to need, so we'll just keep setting them up until I run out pretty much. Um, and probably what we could do... Well, I don't know how many I have on me. That's really what I need to know. And, oh, this is bad. Oh, that's why. It won't... It won't fit. That's interesting. It's because we, it's too... It's starting to collapse on itself. So maybe we need to move this down further. That stinks already. We have to move this thing. I don't like that. Why is this not working? Well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to just do change the outside. I think this is going to be fine. I'll just do the inside first. And that way we'll know how close they can be. This seems like a real waste of space, though. Alright. Uh, how many do I have left? 13? Let's get the other ones in so I can figure out how many I have here. 
this is where it's going to be a little bit tricky because uh, these can go one earlier, so and which would have been really nice. And but you know, no, we're not doing it. Let's get into God mode. This is already getting annoying. Um, God mode. Oh, I didn't download that. I gotta, I gotta reinstall the God mode mod. Okay, I'll do that. The God mode toggle mod. It's so helpful. All right, let's keep going. We have um, an exact amount, uh, an even amount, so this should be something that you know we end with a nice, pretty system here. We'll just have to set up all the uh, splitters and crap like that. This is definitely going to take forever. Oh, uh, we got to do some... We got to lower this one. Okay, no problem. We can do that. Lower these things. Lack of item. That's why we should bring... I hate when I run out of stuff. Uh, that, that's probably fine. How many of these we got left? We only had four left. So let's just plumb this stuff in and then not really care about what we're doing here. Uh... And then off camera, I definitely need to set up. Um, I definitely need to get um, God mode toggle set up because that is just too awesome. I, I don't want to go to the settings every time. That just seems kind of lame. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. This side is good. All right, let's set up this side. The return guys can't see because I'm not a robot. I, mean, I know we talk about this a lot. <laughs> It is what it is. All right. Again, please don't change it because it would be unrealistic, and I kind of like the realism of the whole thing. All right. Uh, the easy part is done. The return belt. That was the easy part. Let's get all the splitters in, and then we can do the uh, import belts, I guess we call it. Oh, there we go. This should be pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure the configuration is right. And then we can start laying down those solar panels. And we'll have a nice system here. And the reason I went with this instead of um, going straight to the solar sail factory is because this is something that we don't have to spend resources on. Solar panel energy is free. And that's something we really need right now. We need free. Um, we are consuming a lot. And I want to slow down our consumption, basically, is what it is. All right, that would okay. Let's get this stuff plumbed in. Very, very simple stuff here. It shouldn't actually take too long because I know how these chargers like to be little punks and get in my way. So I kind of know that you need to duck down really close uh, to get access to these splitters. All right, we've got a lot of charging going on. These guys are being really low percent until we get more of the uh, of that. Um... Oops, that's not what I want. Why is this not working? Port occupied. Oh, okay. It's already there. Okay. Um, until I get more of... Energy exchanger. Nope. Nope. Until I get more of that solar panel ring set up, they're just going to be at a lower percent. Not a big deal. So what? See? Again, if you get a little bit too high up there, you can't... You can't get access to these guys because their hitboxes are so big. Can I get... Can I please get some belt here to copy off of? There we go. Nope. Is this... Oh, why does it keep doing that? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, it's still on both at least. This is not hard, John. What is your problem? Okay, that was the last one too. Okay, so what are they charging at? S one megawatt. They have nothing. Nothing's coming in. Makes sense because we only have like five solar panels. And they're not a huge ring of them, right? We don't have that many. So let's go down here and start working in this direction. Looks like there's... They're still kind of sort of sort of collecting over here. No, they're starting to come online over on this side, aren't they? Intensity zero. Oh, they're going down, right? Well, are you going to let me see what's going on here? No, they're going down, which means these guys should have some intensity. Yeah, like almost zero because we're on the dark side now. So let's go over here to try to continue this ring. With two boxes full, we should get pretty far. Yeah, there's the point. There's the ethereal phoenix right there. All right, so luckily we do have the mod that lets us do this cool thing, although it just threw an error. That's bad. But we're going to keep going. Well, it didn't lay it down. Why not? Why is this... Oh, okay. Too close to another power facility. It's doing it everywhere else. I don't understand. Did they change solar panels so that you can't put them that close together? It seems to work right now. I wonder if it's the mod then. The mod might not be working. Am I in god mode now? 
it's stuck. There's an error with the mod. So I'm gonna, hopefully they fix that because this is already completely tedious and I need to get something new. I'm not, I'm not doing this hand click for every five seconds. So we gotta figure that out. I'm sure the rec video is still recording. The game will still save. I've had this issue. I think I've had this issue before anyway. Construct mode zero, it should work. It's not working. Why did that, oh, okay. Will that work? Cannot build here. Why not? Why can't you build there? I think the mod's having an issue. All right, well, we're just gonna build by hand for now. And then off camera, I'm gonna try to figure out why it's not working. Also, I'm not gonna build these by hand. This is ridiculous. This would take all year. And I don't wanna click a billion times. We literally bought like 3,000 of these things. And uh, I have a thousand. A thousand clicks? No. <laughs> now, if we had God mode, well, let's just toggle into God mode, okay? Let's just do it the right way. And did I lose my... What's going on with this thing? Oh, there we go. I just... Okay. I pushed... I don't know what I did. All right. I lost my um, face cam preview. Okay, so let's go into God mode. We got to do the old-fashioned way, unfortunately. Um, I'll have to fix that later. Gameplay. Uh, nah, 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 Third-person mode. God mode. Uh, okay, cool, thanks. Now let's go into build, and we'll be in god mode now, and hopefully... Yeah, there we go. Now I can just kind of do this, at least. That's way faster. I gotta move my bot, though. Because he's now in the way. I mean, it's not as good as it was, as the other way, but that's still pretty cool. Let's move the bot, because he's gonna be in the way, for sure. And let's do the next one. Uh, totally fascinating stuff, isn't it, guys? So let me know in the comments section what you th if you're into astronomy or you like space games and stuff and what you like about them. Do you like them to be realistic? Like, how much are you okay with the realism of the game suffering f so that the gameplay is better? I think I used to be... I used to be someone who was like, oh, no, realism, realism, realism. It's so cool. I want realism all the time. Uh, now I'm more of a, you know, I can sacrifice some realism for the gameplay. That's, that's, that's totally fine. Oh, wow, I can just do that. Okay, well, let's do that then. But, I don't know. I don't know. I Like, the realism on this game for planets is completely unrealistic, right? Unless your bot is just mega huge. Which is possible, I guess. <laughs> it's not likely, but it's possible. Unless this bot is from just a gigantic planet or something, or they made a mech that's a hundred feet tall or a or hundred miles tall I think it would even be taller than that to be honest but uh, I don't know so it's still cool though I mean uh, suspend really what it's about and this really comes from um, fiction like how to write fiction especially science fiction is you have to be able to create your universe so that people can suspend their disbelief and still like your story Right? Suspension of disbelief is like when someone says, there's magic in Harry Potter, okay? There's a magical universe. Well, obviously there's not really a magical universe, at least not that we know of. So we have to be able to suspend our disbelief in order to enjoy the story of Harry Potter. And if you put in too many things that make us think in the middle of your story about how there's no way that's real, um, then we lose our suspension of disbelief and the story's ruined. So the same thing can, I think, be said about video games to a certain extent. If you can't suspend my disbelief that this is possible and get me into the gameplay, then I'm not going to enjoy your game. All I'm going to keep doing is going, oh, that's impossible. Oh, that's impossible. That would never happen. You know, kind of, kind of stuff like that. And that's not really something you want in your game. You want people to keep playing, right? You don't want them to quit after five seconds. Um, we're almost at the time, and I probably will be killing this at the time. I don't know if I'm going to come back and place these with the mod it being fixed, if it is even updated. Um, I might just do the rest of this off-camera. I have 755 more to go. This is really pretty boring stuff. Um, I don't see a lot of benefit out of that. Um, I know I said I would never build off-camera, but this is really, really boring. I'm literally just setting up a solar ring. There's, I'm not, We're not even doing a build. We're just like literally sitting here and clicking 7,000 times. Well, maybe not 7,000. But this is not super exciting. <laughs> and this is... I think all planets are the same size, though. 
I'm not sure if this planet's like bigger than any other planets. I think they're all the same size. Put a note in the comment section if you know what that is. I'm sure Theo Phoenix will know that. He knows everything. That dude knows everything. Um, yeah, so also wanted to talk about Humankind is coming up. Um, I'm not sure we're going to be able to finish this game before Humankind comes out. And I really would like to do two, vi two videos a day of Humankind. It's a Space 4X, I believe. It looks really cool. It's by Amplitude Studios. I really love that um, dev team. They make really good games. They made uh, Endless Legend. They made um, Endless Space 1 and 2, you know, stuff like that. They made Dungeon of Endless. All the Endless games are theirs. They're a really great dev team. Their games are really fun. They're usually pretty... They're complex, but also simple at the same time. I really like that. So um, that comes out, I want to say, April 26th. And I really need to get into that, especially as a YouTuber. I have to play it when it comes out. I have to literally load videos the day it comes out, or I'm going to be behind already. So that's something. Oh, this sucks because now we can't um, do our ring all the way around, but that's okay. We'll do it all until we can't. So let's just see if we can get away. Well, at least the outside ring we can get away with. That's cool. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do with this game because I really do want to load two, two videos a day of... Um, What's that game called? Of Humankind. Um, and, and that means we got about 10 days to finish this game. Maybe a little bit more than 10 days. Which is 20 episodes. And I don't know if we're going to be able to get that far in um, 10 days. So, I don't know. We'll see. Um, and I don't want to... I do want to finish the series. I don't like dropping series right in the middle. I feel like we've gotten a lot of good content out of this, though. So, I don't feel super horrible about it or anything. Um... It's just, I don't like doing it. I like to finish games. I want to build a Dyson Sphere. And I'm not sure I can do that in 10 episodes, or 20 episodes. It's possible. I'm not that good at building fast in these kind of games. I take my time. I like to build it a certain way. I'm very meticulous. Well, I'm fairly meticulous, let's say. Um, I'm not crazily, you know, perfectionist about stuff. But I do like it to be a certain way. So it takes more time for me to do stuff. Because I have to think about it longer. Um, so let's keep going. We can keep doing, doing this for a couple minutes. If you don't like this, I understand if you clicked off the video. But this way we don't get it, you know, into the next episode, right? And building more solar panel arrays and shit. Stuff. Whoa, I almost cussed. Oh, another thing. I'm losing my YouTube, um, my YouTube partnership with full screen. I've had that for a very, very long time. If you've been around my channel for a long time, you know that I've had that for years and years, probably since 2012. They've decided, I think, just to shrink their network. Uh, and I, my channel is just not getting the volume that they're looking for. Totally fine. I actually was thinking about disconnecting from them anyway and going directly with YouTube if I can. Um, because I'm going to get more money out of that. And I think YouTube will probably monetize me and promote me more because I'm not with a network, right? They're going to get more money out of it too. Which I, I think. I think that's how it works. So we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how that works with gamers with YouTube. It used to be really hard to get a YouTube um, partnership when you're a gamer because of all the copyright issues that might occur between loading people's video, you know, doing video of people's video games and stuff, and copyright infringement and all that. I don't think it's really the case anymore. I think most video game people are like, look, this is good marketing, so we would never do a takedown on um, uh, a video unless you're violating NDA or something like that. Something pretty egregious and probably never going to happen kind of a thing. So um, we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm not excited. I'm not concerned because I think I'm only making like eight dollars a month on this channel right now so it's not like there's a lot of money coming in it's, and i don't depend on it this is this is my hobby this is what i do for fun right now do i wish it was a a, a business a full-time business yeah probably although at the same time i am wary that it would become a job and not fun anymore and that would be make it really hard to load videos so i've had that happen to me in the past it's kind of like burnout there have literally been days where i've loaded 20 videos a week so that means sometimes two sometimes three videos a day if I'm doing 14 videos a week right now, that's a lot. Uh, and it's not super bad because I'm doing Let's Plays. It's not that big a deal. When I was trying to do 20 videos a week, I, not everything I was doing was a Let's Play. A lot of it was. I was playing two, three, three or four games, I think, at that point. But I was also doing, like, a bunch of guides and stuff for World of Tanks and different stuff like that. So in some videos that took a lot of editing time and took a lot of extra time. Whereas Let's Plays, I usually do one take, cut it, hardly any editing you know upload it so i can do two videos a day not a huge deal still have a job still have you know a family still have a big social life which i do my next week is literally packed and i'm, I'm actually 
having people that want to hang out with me and not being able to hang out with them because I don't have any time. It's already booked. So, I don't know. I think two videos a day, pretty easy for me to do, but I'm going to have to figure out a partnership with YouTube, which again, hopefully will be pretty simple. Oh good, we're almost done with this. We don't actually have leftover panels, I think. So this ring will be, that means when we fill, do a full ring like this, it means that we'll always have um, solar panel per, um, power production going on because literally it's, no matter what the rotation is of the planet, we have solar panels that are pointing at Ethereal Phoenix, the star, right? So cool, this is good. Except it'll be a little bit lower when it goes over that coal patch because we couldn't put it underground. I should always keep a stack of foundation on me, it sounds like, which is totally fine. Uh, we might not actually have enough of these. 94. Yeah, this should be enough. It's like exactly perfectly the amount that we need. And then I'm going to go check out the power station real quick. I know we're, we're quite a ways over the time, but that's okay. I do want to finish this in one episode. For one thing, I want to I get the content done. And I don't want to spend any more time on the next episode. Plus, this is really boring. So I don't want to put this at the start of the video. All right, cool. We're almost done. I might come back and actually fix that section where we couldn't... I'm out of building range. Okay, let's go a little closer. Boom. Okay, cool. So I might come back and fix that patch where we had some coal. I might actually put that underground just to, you know, like I said, a completionist type of thing. Let's get out of build mode now. And let's get these guys going. We're still in build mode. And then we're going to check our charging system. It looks to be going really well. It's nothing like Nether. Nether is an insane charging system, but this is good. 33. This is a lot. This is a lot of charging. And we're going to get this continuously. This is awesome. Have anybody picked anything up? It looks like it because we can't keep our supply. We do not have enough supply coming in. Why don't we put this at 300? So that... 300? Come on, seriously. So that we can bump this up to 50% for now. We need more accumulators here. So, this is good. This is really good. And we're, we're not at max capacity. So that's really w good as well because... Uh, that doesn't mean we have power that's left on the grid doing nothing, right? We're, we're using up all the power that's coming in. Perfect. So that's going to do it for this episode. Making Ethereal Phoenix... Ethereal... Ethereal... Ethereal Phoenix actually do something. About time, dude. Uh, and let me know what you think in the comment section. Please like the video if you did like it. There's going to be a lot more. I'm so glad that my machine's all up and running. There will be no more issues. But I did get it up and running pretty quick. A week is pretty fast to get all the parts in and get the build done and get it op operating and everything. I feel like I did a good job with that. So, again, hopefully you're going to stick around. If you're new, please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification so you know when I release videos. I will see you on the next one. Stay frosty.